The Cedar Rapids Fire Department is emphasizing the importance of having a number of different plans in case of a house or apartment fire. Our I-9 investigative team spoke to one Eastern Iowan who went through a house fire earlier this year. And KCRG TV9's Emily Schrod joins us now in the studio. Emily, tell us a little bit more about how quick thinking helped save their lives. Yeah, Jim, your first instinct in a situation like this is, how can I get out? But as one Cedar Rapids family quickly learned, getting out isn't always the safest option. In that moment, you kind of forget everything that was going on and everything you've been trained to do. Smoke was coming up through here. In the early hours of February 7th, Robert Verdeck woke up to the smell of smoke. I just kind of wanted to check on things, so I opened the sliding door here. And that's when I noticed the fire right across from my room. The fire had already started up the wall and it was starting to wrap up around the ceiling. So. Obviously, I couldn't go through this room because of the heat, so I just closed this door again. As the fire continued to rage, Verdeck went upstairs to his kids. Once he was upstairs, fire was blocking the only two exit points. So the family took refuge in a bedroom. The first thing I did was kick this door closed to ensure that it had locked or latched. I picked up my phone, I called 911. Cedar Rapids Fire Department arrived on scene and got to work getting everyone out of the second story window. Well, we were told that there was uh, uh, three children and an adult upstairs in the home that they were trapped and they couldn't get out of the house. Um, so we had a pretty good indicator of uh, that what our primary objective was gonna be. They got them down in just a couple of seconds, but for me, it felt like two hours. So I just laid down. I kind of figured this room was where it was all going to come to a head for me. But I was willing to do it as long as the kids were okay. Next thing I know, I feel a firefighter's hand here grab my shoulder and start pulling me through the window. Firefighters had breached the door by then. While some animals perished in the fire, everyone in the family got out safe. But CRFD firefighter Corey Dillon says it's fires like this one that serve as a reminder to have more than one plan in case of a fire. It's easy to think, open up the doors, open up the windows, let all the stinky smoke out, but that's not the case that we're thinking here. We want to close it and shut off the air that, which is feeding the fire. And then they sheltered in place. That was plan B, and they did a great job. And if plan B is the safest option, Dillon says a closed door can make a huge difference when sheltering in place. On one side of the door, it's 1,000 degrees. On the other side of the door, it might only be 100 degrees. And not only is the temperature difference a, a big factor, but the smoke difference. And that ultimately can make the difference between life and death. And in this case, it was a happy ending because of the, the efforts by the dad and the homeowners to close doors. The Veridoc home also had working smoke detectors, giving them some warning. It's something CRFD firefighter Jake Carell emphasizes every house should have. The most important thing is to have a smoke detector, working smoke detector in each bedroom each level of the house, outside all the bedrooms in the hallway, uh, test them twice a year at a minimum. We're all alive. At the end of the day, Verdak says he's just thankful his family made it out alive. You can replace everything in the house, but you can't replace the kids. <laughs> they're, they're, they're not replaceable. Both firefighters emphasized going over each plan, especially with young children, making sure they know exactly what to do if the first plan isn't an option. In the studio, Emily Schrod, KCRG TV9 News.